How's it going guys? Thanks for tuning in to John's Fishing Channel. I have a cooking video for you guys today. As you probably saw in the title, we're beginning cooking a little mahi-mahi uh, with a macadamia nut crust. I've never done anything like this. Um, I've eaten it once or twice in really fancy restaurants and it's been absolutely delicious. Last time I was out fishing with my Uncle Roger um, on his boat out of Huntington Beach, we caught a couple Dorado, which are served as mahi-mahi uh, in restaurants pretty much all over the world. And it's an absolutely delicious fish. So here I have my fish filet. I got a little bit more skin to take off there, uh, but it's a nice, I would say about an eight to 10 ounce filet. I've got all my ingredients that I'm gonna need to make this butter, flour, macadamia nuts, panko, which are a Japanese breadcrumb, which are absolutely delicious. If you've never tried them, it's one of my favorite ways to prepare fish in breadcrumbs. My dad told me about it uh, a little while ago, and I think it's absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna be using those today. Got a little bit of coconut milk and my bowl and my pan that I'll need to cook the food. First thing you're gonna wanna do is set your oven to 425 degrees. First thing I'm gonna do is Chop up my macadamia nuts. You can buy these either uh, already pre-chopped or you can chop them yourself. It's completely up to you. But they do have to be chopped down pretty fine. All right, got those chopped up. I've got half a cup of melted butter, which is gonna go in my bowl. Make sure we get all that butter deliciousness in there. And in the bowl, we're going to put our nuts, our panko, our flour, and our butter. So the butter is in there. Just go ahead and add the chopped nuts in there. We're going to measure out one half cup of panko breadcrumbs. These are pretty convenient because they come with a resealable package. Alright, we're going to do half a cup of these, there is one quarter cup, two quarter cups, which measures out to a half cup, we'll set those aside, two tablespoons of all purpose flour, I'm using gold metal flour which is my favorite flour to prank Nikki with, if you watch our prank videos, one tablespoon and two tablespoons, now we're going to mix that all together and set it to the side. So we'll just mix all this together, just like this. Make sure we get all of our butter melted down and mixed in there. Ooh, that looks delicious. Our next step is going to be to take our pan and we take a piece of aluminum foil and we're gonna just set that down on the pan so the fish doesn't stick to the pan while it's baking in the oven at the temperature of 425. All right, and we're just gonna add a little uh, vegetable oil to here. And we're gonna spread it out so it's on there pretty generously. Like I said, we do not want this piece of fish to stick to either the pan or the aluminum foil. That'll kind of ruin this whole dish. But that is plenty of oil. We're going to take our piece of mahi-mahi, place it on the pan, sprinkle it with salt and pepper, as much as you like or as little as you like some people don't prefer to eat pepper or salt you can leave it off if you don't enjoy these flavors I personally tend not to eat a lot of salt um, but it's something that tastes pretty good on fresh saltwater fish okay so now we have our piece of mahi mahi it's got salt and pepper to taste on each side it's flipped over we have the oil on the aluminum foil on the cooking pan. I'm going to simply slip this into the oven for five minutes at 425 degrees. All right, so the fish has been in for five minutes. I'm going to take it out, set it down right there. Ooh, that is hot. So the next step is to take some coconut milk. It looks delicious. And brush each side of the fish with the coconut milk. All right, take our coconut milk. Lightly brush the fish. I don't know where my brush handle is, that's why I'm only using the tip of it. It's removable so you can clean it. Now we take the fish and we 
I'll flip it over. And we brush the side with coconut milk as well. And now comes the moment of truth. We take our panko nut butter flour mix and we just put that right on top of the fish just like so and we push down on it try to get it to kind of stick to the fish and you do that by just gently patting it over and over firmly pressing on the mixture to keep it on top of the fish make sure you get uh, the entire top because this is going to cook to a nice golden brown color and it's going to be absolutely delicious with that fish underneath. And now we return the crusted covered fish to the oven for five to ten minutes until this becomes a nice golden brown. Uh, and one of the things I like to do to make cleaning up after myself a lot easier when I'm cooking because I cook a lot, I have a fresh sink full of hot soapy warm water um, and I just continuously clean all the stuff that I use uh, throughout the entire time that I'm cooking. So I'm cleaning the bowl now, the spatula, the knives, everything you saw me use earlier, the plates, the forks, the stuff like that. I've already cleaned and set aside to dry so I can put them away and it just uh, cuts down on all the kitchen clutter and stuff that you're gonna have to deal with and clean up after you're done eating. And there is the final product. At this point, I'm gonna let it sit uh, and cool off for about 10 minutes before I eat it and I think it's gonna be absolutely delicious. And there is the final portion of Mahi Mahi plated up, crusted with the roasted macadamia nuts and now it's time to try it. Well, here goes nothing. Mmm. Oh, that is delicious. It's very, very good. Even the dogs are smelling it like crazy. Um, but that's, you know, this is a filet of fish that you would expect to pay $17 for at the market, 20 to $30 in a restaurant. Um, and I'll tell you what, just going out and being able to catch your own fish like this is amazing. So thank you, Uncle Roger. Thanks, Don Cooper, for taking us out. Um, and thanks, Captain Tim, for piloting the boat. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of this fish. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm John from John's Fishing Channel, and we'll see you next time.